what is up YouTube welcome to the beginning of our NCAA football 14 dynasty today with the Kansas Jayhawks you'll see the starting coach right here Alan McPherson if you watch the Iowa Hawkeyes dynasty from my last year where I did about two and a half seasons you'll know this was our one five-star recruit that we got he was an athlete turned into a wide receiver and I'm hoping he gives us a little bit of luck through recruiting and that's what I'm really looking for you see us here I'm gonna give myself a level three starting coach you'll see why I do that later but man am I excited to get this thing going updated rosters got UMass and Texas State and Miami of Ohio all in the rosters along with Idaho as well the only team we're missing out on is UAB in this roster so they don't have those quite done I don't know if anybody's working on them either but we have every single other one which just hope we don't run into them here you see the bcs bowls that we have i got rid of all automatic qualifiers i believe it's just more real realistic in this dynasty to get that done because in real life they have the college football playoff system so i feel like anybody and anybody should make it into those kind of bowl games that's exactly what we're gonna do but here you see we're gonna do the custom conference realignment this is not for the freezing glitch i did not add any team builders into this dynasty because i don't want to worry about freezing in my dynasty i just want to play through with the teams that are already in just the custom conferences the realistic conferences that they have in the uh, NCAA right now so these are just going to be without the team builders like Appalachian State, Coastal Carolina, etc. If you want to get those I'll leave a description or I'll leave a link in the description to the forums which will explain how to get those so you don't have the freezing glitch and you have to do that year by year you have to change every year where you go to custom conferences in the off season and change that that way you don't get any of the freezes year at, year in year out otherwise you will be having trouble as what i wanted to avoid for sure that's why i just didn't risk it just making one simple mistake and getting freezes and i'd have to completely restart my dynasty so that is my reasoning for that but while we go through this as you'll finally see me start my custom conferences um I want to talk about what my plan is for this team. In a minute, you will see our record from the past couple of years until about 2014, 2015. And that would be that our record wasn't very good. You'll see the last time in this game, they were 1 11 as a record. But ever since that last year, they did not win a game, as you know if you watch NCAA football in real life. Um, just kind of rough. I don't know. Uh, as you see, I just showed you the co conferences. I guess I completely forgot to show you actually how to customize them. I ap my apologies, but if you want to freeze it on a conference that I have made, that's just freezing that. Go ahead with that. But you did see our last few records. This is going to be a rebuild, and you see why I did that, why I had the level three. I wanted to put it all in the scouting, so each time I scout a player in this preseason, they'll be automatically 100% scouted. You see me going through redshirting, and going back to what I was talking about, our records are awful in the past couple of years and that is why this is gonna be a huge rebuild so if I do not play fantastic in this first year or first two years don't hate on me I'm just I'm trying to I'm gonna be trying I'm gonna try my best to win ball games and um, I'm gonna try my best to really just have a first good year I'm gonna try to make a bowl game with about six wins that's my goal right now as you see our record to try to do that Missouri Rice Louisiana Tech then Texas Tech TCU Oklahoma Baylor Texas Oklahoma State West Virginia Iowa State and Kansas State I feel like we may be able to scratch out six wins with that record but we may get blown out in some other games especially with these sliders haven't touched them out yet I'm excited to do that as you see that Khalil Her Herbert let me know if you're a Kansas fan and in real life if he's going to be good for you guys because he's an impact, impact player on these rosters and he's only a true freshman but I hear, I read a lot on websites that he looks like he's going to be very good for them this year and is going to get a lot in playing time. That's why it's moved into second string even though he's not a very high overall. That's why I did that and that's my explanation for that. But this is going to be, be a rebuild and that's exactly what I wanted. Choosing Kansas, um, I hope you guys are excited for it. If you are excited for it and you've made it this far in the video, make sure you smash the like button so I can continue to bring this out for you guys. I'm excited, ready to get into week one. But first, one of the biggest things we're going to have to do is recruiting. Recruiting is going to be a big emphasis here in the first few years when we get this dynasty going so we can build up a dynasty at Kansas. So you had 66 matches in our top 10. We actually had a two four stars, both tackles, which is pretty surprising here with Kansas, but we are kind of a big school, just not a very good football school. And you see we actually have some pretty decent, we're a bunch of four stars and three stars. I really don't, I'm not too fond of being a school like this and getting two stars because if you get a two star who's like a 62, 63 overall, 
and you scout him, he's like he's like at 62, 63. The chances of him playing early in his years are very slim. That's why I like to try to go after 68. Brink is 70 overall because then they can progress into higher 70s, lower 80 overall. And then once you get once you build your dynasty, and you get them to about f higher four stars and maybe even five stars. Then you start getting the 70, mid 70 overalls as soon as they're recruited and they they progress to high 80s, lower 90s. But you see right here, look at this first guy. This is not a good start. He's a bust, negative 10 overall. Then another bust with Rob Wright. I kept him just because 67 overall, hopefully good enough. But then we got the gem. Todd Reyes is going to be our big, big time recruit that I'm going to try to get here during the regular season. I need to get him 77 overall. Going to be an impact right away. Probably a starting position right away. But you see, we've already had about three busts, and that is not what I'm looking for recruiting. Obviously, I just put 20 guys, 20 guys so I can get all the scouting for these guys right away. Another bust, as you see. And then as we get farther in the year, when there's busts like that, I get them off my roster or off my recruiting board, then I will go get more recruits and scout them and, you know, just go through that and hopefully cycle through some re some players and pick out the right ones that are going to be good for us next year instead of the guys that are busts like Matt Upshaw, who is off my board now and won't be coming back anytime soon. And that is exact that's how I recruit. And then I start just putting the numbers. I get when I have my pipeline, you know, I put less like 250 in. But I'm excited to get this one in for week one. If you guys are too, smash the like button. And as always, I'm out. Peace.